Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is the next video in the additional skill RPA developer series and the topic which we have chosen is databases. Prior to this video, we have already covered a lot of videos where we are looking at how do you install the SQL Server, we have seen the basics and we have also seen how you can create, retrieve, update and delete the data. While many of you were going through this playlist, I have got a couple of emails where I found that some people are facing issues when you are actually connecting to the SQL Server Management Studio for the first time. And that is a very common problem when you are working with SSMS. So this video, I am going to show you what exactly that error is and how can you overcome that error without reinstalling the SQL Server, right? So you don't actually have to reinstall the SQL Server, right? So let's see first actually what is that error, right? So I'll go to my start button and I'll try to open the SQL Server Management Studio, which is SSMS. I'll just open this, right? In case you don't have SSMS, you can always watch the first video in the playlist and that would guide you that how do you install the SSMS, okay? We'll wait for the SQL Server Management Studio to open. Okay, now we have this uh, window which says connect to servers and I'm trying to connect to my this server which is I have been always connecting, right? This is hosted on my system only and if I simply say connect, now here you might notice that the SQL server is taking more time than expected to connect and this is the place where most of you might be facing some issue where you are getting the error which I will also get and let's then work on the resolution as well. Okay, so we'll just wait for the message to pop up and here it is, right? It says that I am not able to connect to this server, which is this laptop. This is my laptop CURN4H72 SQL Express, right? So this is what we have configured in the first video. And now we see that it says that a network related issue has occurred, right? Now, many of you, what you are doing here is now you are uninstalling the SQL and then reinstalling it and it is working for you, right? Now, in this video, I'm going to show you that how can you work it without actually reinstalling it right so i have got this error so this is the error i just hit ok and it simply says that i am not able to establish the connection okay i'll hit ok and now you simply have to go to the start menu and here you have to search for sql and you would see something which is called sql server 2019 configuration manager right depending on the version of sql server you have installed you would have something which is called configuration manager installed on the machine right so i'll go to the configuration manager by double clicking on it and here this will open the sql server configuration manager now you would notice here that your sql server sql express is stopped right so this is actually the service which is responsible for connecting to that instance of the database and which is stopped that is why you are getting that error in this connection wizard right now to fix this you simply have to go here right click on this and you have an option which says start so i say start okay and you would get this pop-up which says starting the service Please be patient here, let it complete and your state should be running here, right? Previously it was stopped. Now if you notice here, it is now running. Now it is running here. You can just go back to your SSMS again and let's try to connect it now by hitting this connect button. And you would notice that now I am able to connect to my database and I can see all the database related thing which I was doing, right? So that is it guys, in case you are facing any issues network related connection, just first check your SQL Server Configuration Manager, see the service is running or is stopped or paused, right? So if it is stop or pause, simply come here, right click on it and say start and that should actually run your SQL Server Management Studio as usual. Okay, so that is it all for this video. I would like to wrap this video here in case if you face any more difficulty you can just drop me an email and I would like to put it in the troubleshooting video like this right with this I would like to wrap this video here thank you for watching if you like this video please do subscribe to the channel and happy automation